Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a spring wreath using a pick that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. And these are the supplies I'm using. The first thing I did was break apart that pick. I just took them apart and then I'm using some floral tape to kind of tape them back together the way I want them. I am going to trim the stems because they are rather long. So here I'm going back in with my floral tape. I did purchase this from Hobby Lobby. However, you can get a very good floral tape from the Dollar Tree. Floral tape is so easy to work with. You just kind of pull it slightly as you're twisting it. So I have those prepped and ready to go and I'm gonna put them off to the side. Now it's time to prep my greenery. I'm going through a lot of leftover greenery that I have and I'm just kind of uh, clipping it off and clipping it down to smaller pieces and then I'm gonna see what I wanna use. This purple stem was left over from a previous project and I did pick that up from the Dollar Tree. These white floral stems that now I'm breaking apart, I picked those up from the Dollar General. If you have a Dollar General near you, I suggest checking out their florals. They're, they're pretty decent and they're a good price. They happen to catch my eye and I thought they would be fun to work with. I'm separating all of my greenery into piles. When I start a project, I do pull out a lot more florals and greenery than I'm ever going to use. I just want variety. Okay, I got my finger guards on now, and now I'm going to start with some greenery. Um, I start with the lighter colored greenery I purchased from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to do three at the top and three at the bottom. I do put the greenery in at a slant. I don't want it to poke out through the backside of the grapevine. There is no rhyme or reason here. I'm just doing what I think looks best. So I'm leaving a gap in between the top part where I'm putting the greenery at the top and the greenery where I'm putting it at the bottom because I am going to place a bow in between that gap right there on the left side of the wreath. Now I'm going in with that fun white bush that I picked up from the Dollar General. I really loved working with this stuff. It was very easy to work with and I just thought it was beautiful. So again, whatever I do at the top, I'm gonna to do at the bottom. And I do pick it up and look at the wreath as I'm going to see where I wanna place my next piece. It's coming along, folks. Trust the process. So I decided I wanted to add a little bit more of this white bush. So I'm going in with even amounts on the top and the bottom. I don't focus too much on length. When I do cut my bushes apart and my greeneries or my florals, I cut them rather long because I want them as long as possible until I'm ready to put it on my project. Then I can decide how long or tall or where I want to place it. 
And sometimes you want the stems longer and sometimes you just want them shorter. It just depends on what you're doing. I'm also being really careful when I place the florals or the greenery into the grapevine, I'm using the hand that has the finger guards on it. If you've ever burned your finger, you know. I always wear these finger guards. So here I'm going in with some ranunculus that I purchased from Hobby Lobby and this was left over from a previous project. Most of the things I'm using are just leftover scraps. I only had three of the ranunculus left over, so I put two at the top and one at the bottom. And sometimes that just happens that way. Like I said, I just wanna use some things up that I have. As I'm picking the grapevine up and looking at it, I'm seeing what I want to trim off of the grapevine. And I do use my clippers for this. Okay, now I'm going in with the star of the show, the little Easter hats that I found. I thought they were adorable. I did pay full price for them at Hobby Lobby um, because there was only two left, so I wanted them. I'm placing two at the top and then one shooting out at the bottom. And these were actually um, fairly easy to work with. I was trying to decide if I wanted all three at the top and none at the bottom, and then I decided, nope, two at the top, one at the bottom, just like I did with the ranunculus. The green one was kind of giving me a fit and I don't think I placed it correctly into the grapevine the first time. So I decided to go ahead and remove it, add some more glue and replace it into the grapevine wreath. Now that I'm satisfied with that, I'm gonna work on my bow. I'm doing an easy bow. I'm just gonna do a freehand bow. Um, I had this ribbon I purchased from Hobby Lobby. I think it was a Oh my God, it was on clearance for like $1.45 or something like that. So I decided to just go ahead and do a hand tied bow in my hand. I cut a little V cut at the end. Now I'm gonna make my loops. I am doing eight inch loops. And now I'm gonna loop it, pinch it in the back, twist it, and then start on my next loop. So here I'm twisting at the back. Now I'm coming around and I can pick this, the loops up and measure them to make sure that they're even. So this is what I'm doing here. Now I'm gonna pinch that down, twist, make another loop, and then here I'm gonna test, a, I'm gonna tr uh, test it again up against the loops. I'm just measuring it. So I'm gonna continue to do this, and then um, when I'm done, I'm gonna secure it with a zip tie, and I'm not gonna crank the zip tie all the way down. I'm just gonna start the zip tie. I did end up with seven loops for my bow. I just keep going until I'm satisfied. You can do, I probably could have pushed it and done eight loops, but I wanted a longer tail. So my first tail was eight inches and I wanted the, the next one to be eight inches. So I didn't wanna like skimp on the tail. So I did end up doing, just doing the seven loops. So now I'm gonna get my zip tie out and I'm gonna place it in the middle part of the bow, wrap it around, and I'm gonna start the zip tie. I'm just gonna start it. I'm not gonna crank it all the way down. I want to add a pipe cleaner before I zip tie it all the way down. This way I have a way of attaching it to my wreath. So now I'm feeding the pipe cleaner through the zip tie. Now I'm gonna crank it all the way down. The reason why I use a zip tie is because I feel like it makes the loops pop up. 
So I'm gonna trim off the excess zip tie, and I'm gonna take the pipe cleaners, and I'm gonna attach it to my wreath. So here I'm gonna go in the middle part um, of the florals and the greenery there. And I did, I did take the pipe cleaner. You can use a tool to, to weave it down through the grapevine. I didn't do it this time because this grapevine wasn't that tight, but sometimes they're tight, so I do use a weaving needle. And um, I just kind of pushed it down through and I got it to the back and I'm just gonna twist, tie it off, and then I'm gonna tuck the excess back into the grapevine. So here I'm just tucking it back in. I don't want it to scrape my door. Now I'm fluffing up the bow. They also call this breaking the bow. I just wanna get it exactly where I want it. I'm also gonna trim that longer tail down just a, just a little bit. I thought I was gonna weave it through the florals and the greenery and I decided not to. I just made it a regular tail. So here I'm folding that over and I'm gonna cut at a slant to get that pretty uh, V-cut detail. And that's it folks, this is my completed project. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.